Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about this War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave XV. So this is Japan version. So the global version probably come out maybe about three months. So I'm gonna play the Japan version. And I think, by the way, I'm I can't speak Japanese or read Japanese, but yeah, I try to tell you what this option and how to start the game. Okay, if you know something that I don't cover on this video feel free to tell me on the comment section below so on the main screen this on the bottom right you can if you tap this this is for the data transfer so maybe if you switch to your device you can do that transfer here but I haven't tried that because I haven't linked my account on this game actually I'm on the process of re-rolling on this game and this is for support I don't think you need this okay and let's start the game basically when you tap this this is this show you about like uh, agreement so just yes, simply accept it okay you press the blue icons and that's it how you start the game and this they t tell you to insert your name so feel free to insert anything so I will go with default naming because this is temporary account I probably won't play the Japan version once the global comes out and this is for data down download the checklist is for the for download with voice pack and let's do that and that is how you start the game you simply need to wait until the download process is complete okay okay so we are on the first tutorial battle so the battle is pretty simple you basically you can see this the blue square right simply tap anywhere you want to move and you can rotate the camera okay like using this so maybe you cannot understand Japanese like me but I think the UI is kind of friendly okay so basically you only need to move to that but to that square and then you can see the range of your attack by that pink pinkish square okay and like you can see that the attack magic icons are really obvious okay you can see this sword icon here this is of course attack using normal attack so let's do that and also the confirm and back button is really obvious okay you can see this the backspace or whatever icon is to cancel your action and the purple is to affirm your action very simple okay so you don't need to understand that japan for playing this game maybe uh so after the, uh, after doing that action you can set your character where he or she gonna be facing okay so back and wait the enemy okay maybe you will need to understand for some of the characters abilities but that easily can be done by reading ultima wiki for the each character specific abilities okay and once you familiar with them you will able to play this game flawlessly and this talk about TP and AP okay technique point action point whatever see every character same move anywhere but for this tutorial move to the square space and this mediana if you yeah of course you pro, you are my subscriber you know that this is the unit from Final Fantasy Brave XPS so this time we are gonna use magic and like you can see here the magic icon the number 160 are the action speed or casting speed okay so I'm not sure but I suspect the lower the numbers the faster the action gonna take effect okay so 160 maybe it's kind of fast but I'm not sure I'm just playing this game like you and this for four is the range of the ability and for the eight slash eight it is the limit how many times you can use the ability on the pedal so that's kind of downing because there's a limit on how many times you can use the like you can see the mediana cast the blizzard spell okay okay and now after that we are gonna tape tp basically it is an it is MP okay you only can recover it using items if I'm not mistaken but for AP you get it by when you use your normal attack or other abilities 
and finally our main characters can use this limit press using AP like you can see the range is three squares and you can only use this once per battle basically this is what they told us okay so you can you can see what more into the skill by tapping the magnifying glass plus icon okay and let's use limit burst to the bomb to clear the battles see it is not hard even if you don't understand Japan. i probably gonna talk about more about yeah review or maybe battle tips or mission clear in the future video okay so tp TP okay AP and you can use limit breast using AP and that's it for the first tutorial battle on this game I think we are gonna head to the second tutorial too bad the bad thing about this is if you don't understand Japan maybe you will miss about the story okay but yeah let's just do story on the global right now we only need to familiarize familiar ourselves with the battle system and the characters so when we pl play the global version we have better understanding for this game and now we fight zoo and i'm not sure about the name of these characters but from what i read on the so like you can see here wait wait 360 so this is casting speed like i have said four squares and six times limit on the battle okay so let's use this to attack zoo okay for the magic option before you can see that you can target the unit or the location of the units i i think it's better to target the unit okay because if you target the unit when the unit move your spell will still hit the enemy but if you target the square when the enemy moves then your spell won't hit anything okay you can see this talk about maybe if i'm not mistaken it yeah like you can see casting speed 360 and you can see that the area effect when tapping the magnifying glass with plus icon so, zoo come attack and then Yep, normal attack from AI character. Okay, so they gonna teach us about summoning, but I'm not that far into this game, like because like I have said, I'm still on rerolling process. So I haven't got far where I can use summon or understand summon better than this tutorial. But basically on this tutorial, your summon gauge will be full now. So move to the square space. And let's summon Ivrit. You can see the summon bar here. 280 casting speed. And oh, you can only use one summon. It seems okay, it seems. And I must say the animation is totally cool, guys. So same like ability. You can target the unit or the place when you summon. See, ooh. The CG animation definitely improved compared to the FFBE for shit. And it seems that if you summon uh, Asper, then you will get special effect on the battlefield, but we don't know about that yet because, like, you can see that the, the screen, the battlefield, become kind of reddish okay with some kind of burning effect i think it will amplify our fire attack okay so let's skip the the battle and the opening movie and now we are on the gacha process okay so this is where you want to do the reroaring process do two tutorials battle and then they will give us i must say it is not free but they give us 2000 gems diamonds to do 10 pulls so let's do this if you don't like your result then you can reroll after this i will talk about reroll 
Okay, so I suggest you to aim for 5 stars, at least yeah, 1 5 stars characters. But we can get, like you can see that the the process, the reroaring process may be kind of tedious. This is my third time and I don't get even a yellow. Okay. But maybe, maybe getting rainbows are not that important because if... I heard that this game is like Alchemist Code, then getting 5 stars is still that not that amazing because you still need to gather the character shard to la break the maximum level and it seems it is the same on this game too, but I will talk about that later. So like you can see if you get duplicate, that character is gonna be converted into show shard to break the character's limit. Rare, rare, rare. Okay, it changed into yellow. So it is also like Final Fantasy Brave Exodus where you can change. Okay, S S rare. So it is all up to you, but yeah. If you want to reroll, then do it now. You can see this character. Okay. And I will talk about how you can reroll the game. So for now. That's it for the starter. Now let's talk about reroaring process. Like other gacha games, you may want to reroll your account. And I think you should have known how to reroll the gacha game. But if you don't know, simply follow this step. Okay, so this is only applicable for Android form phone. Okay, I'm not sure about the iPhone or iPad version. So basically what you need to do is go to setting, your phone setting and search for apps menu. And on your apps menu, search for FFB War of the Visions icon. And after you tap that, you should get the option to uninstall and force stop. But you don't want to tap those options. Instead, go to storage. And on storage, you will find another two options. The first one is clear data and clear cache. I'm not sure about clear cache, but on other gacha games, sometimes clear cache doesn't work. So pick or choose clear data options. That will require you to re-download the game asset from the beginning, but yeah, it's worth it because you can try to get better characters. And for your info, and it is also actually a spoiler, I finally get my ultra rare characters after about maybe 8 or 9 time of reroaring process. Okay, so it is possible to get rainbow, but the chance for getting rainbow is only 2%, so be patient. Okay, so just keep rerolling and you will get rainbow one time after the rolling okay and remember try to get one rainbow and try to pick the top tier gacha characters okay if based on ultima you should try to get gilgamesh because he is the strongest physical attacker at this moment mediana as the strongest magical attacker for supporter i'm not sure the character but the name is angel belt not sure but for healer, it is another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius character, Ayaka. So if you get those characters, then you are good. Basically, try to get ultra rare characters. Okay, after you get ultra rare characters, you can, yeah, simply stop rerolling and play the game because you get two good characters, Istola and Fina from Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Those two are free and quite good because they are on the third place of the tier list at this moment. So, yep, I think that's all you need to know. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more War of the Fusion Final Fantasy Brave X Fierce Japan Guide. If you have any suggestion or maybe helpful tips for me, please tell it in the comment because I just start the game and Maybe you are better than me on this game, okay? So, yep. Thank you. Bye-bye.